everybody. Welcome to the midweek check-in. It is Holy Week, and I have really good news for you. Because we have been practicing Lectio Divina, we actually are really well-versed in contemplation. Um, to have a contemplative heart and mind during this time, during this special week of every single year, um, is actually a really good practice. And because, again, like I said, Lectio Divina has been happening in our lives every single day, we are pretty well-versed at this. When we sit down before the Father every day and we read our scripture and we go through it like three times, right? And then we stop and we kind of pray, Lord, what do you want us to see? What do you want us to gather from this? And we spend that time writing down and offering a prayer to the Lord based on what we are reading and what we are getting from the getting from God's word. That makes us contemplative. So during this week, when we contemplate the journey that Jesus took to the cross, that's actually really good for us too. So aren't you excited? You actually have this skill inside your tool belt to practice. And one of the ways we can do that is by reflecting on the stations of the cross. Now, this isn't something we typically do here at Living Word because we aren't what's known as a liturgical church. Basically, that just means that we are really intentional about having a communal response to something holy. Now, we do respond to holiness. We respond to God's holiness. We are receptive. We engage and interact, and we honor and praise the Lord for all he has done. However, we don't necessarily walk through a communal response. Have you ever been to a liturgical church where, for example, everyone prays the exact same prayer or responds to the, to the priest or the pastor in one exact specific way? That's kind of more along the lines of being liturgical. However, when we go and we are contemplative toward the stations of the cross, there's a little bit of liturgy behind that. I went ahead and looked up my favorite way to kind of walk through the stations of the cross. And we have a link in the, in the notes below where you can kind of click on that and take a look. This artist did this depiction of the stations of the cross in clay. And it's really, really beautiful. Now, my very, very favorite picture in the stations of the cross is this one. It happens to be the first one, and it's not necessarily found in every single depiction of the Stations of the Cross, but the reason I like this one is because it shows Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, and he is praying before the Father. This is where he comes before God and he says, may you take this cup from me, but thy will be done. I think I like this one the best, you guys, because I can relate to this the best. I didn't walk the, the, the walk that Jesus walked to the cross, right? I've never been um, arrested. I've never been persecuted. I've never been uh, crucified, died on a cross. Of course I've not. And most of us haven't. But I can really relate to this time when Jesus is in the Garden of Gethsemane and he is coming before the Father just pure and real and raw and praying and almost begging, right? He's at the feet of the Father. And I just really love this idea. This week, I encourage all of you to connect to the different stations of the cross yourselves, to take this new skill that we have that we've learned from Lectio Divina called contemplation or having a contempl contemplative life and going and contemplating the road that, and the journey that Jesus took from here to there, which ended on the cross and his death and in the tomb before his resurrection on Easter day. May you be blessed this week, you guys, and happy, happy Easter to you. We hope you, we'll see you on Sunday with your family and your friends. But if, you fought, if you're traveling or you're somewhere else, please know that we love you and we do wish you a happy, happy Easter. Blessings.